today for core workout is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do a little circuit training using the Pilates machine. I'm going to use my Pilates box just to add for some of the exercises. We're only going to use it twice. Uh, so if you don't have it, I can give you modifications. Each, we're going to do two different circuits. Each circuit has four different exercises. I'm going to repeat each circuit twice. So, let's bring the foot bar all the way up to the top notch. I'm going to put three reds on my spring, which is a little bit heavier than I normally do. If you want to go even heavier, go three reds and a white. If you want to stick to lighter, two reds, a white, and a blue. We're going to lay down on our back, feet parallel, like normal footwork, or like a leg press, whichever you want to think about. Flex feet up to the ceiling. You're going to exhale, press up. Squeeze those glutes and quads, keep the space between your lower back and that, and then pull it in. Exhale, press and extend. Two. Resist it down. I'm going a little bit heavier on the springs because I'm not going to do pulses. We're not going into other footwork. Four. So try to go as heavy as you can where you feel comfortable. You feel those quads activating. Resist it down. Flex those feet up to the ceiling. We have 10 more here. Press through those heels. And nine. Press out. Eight. Pull it in slow. Seven. Each time you press out, pull up through those quads. Six. Five. Four. Resist down. Three. Press out. Two. And one. Come all the way in. We're going to roll on up. Come to our box. Just take like a 10 second breather. Modification is one foot on the floor. You're just going to bring that knee to your chest. Otherwise, right foot onto the box. Most of the weight is in that right foot. And you're going to bring that left knee up. One. Two, 20 weeks, three, four, pump those arms, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, two, three, breathe, four, five, abs take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch legs, left foot on, pump those arms, leading to that left leg, 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven, relax the shoulders, eight, nine, ten, ten more, abs tight, drive up through that knee, three, Four, five. Keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back to our former. Take off two of your red springs. So you have one red spring. Grab onto your handle. This is like your little breather time. Have a seat. You're going to straddle the machine. Or so your legs are on the outside of the shoulder rest. We're going to do bicep curls. Then I have one red spring on, which is heavier than normal. You can go down to the blue and the white, blue and yellow, or stick with the red. So, palms up to the ceiling, tuck the pelvis under, abs tight. Pull those arms in, and out slow. You can lower the elbows a little bit if that feels better on the shoulders. Exhale for pull. So, even though it's still circuit, I want you to go slow and control through each exercise, making sure your form is good. Keep that C curve for the spine. Abs tight. Exhale, pull. We have 10 more here. And exhale, pull two. Resist out. Squeeze those biceps. Last three here. One. Resist forward. Pull in two. Last one. And three. Drop those straps down. We're going to turn around. Hands are on the foot bar. So if you haven't noticed, we're doing 20 of each exercise as well. So toes are up against the shoulder rest. Tuck those toes under. You're going to press back into a plank position. Now I want you to shift your body back just slowly so it's 
back past the foot bar. All you're going to do is bend the knees in and press it out fast. One. Abs tight. Two. So you want that lean back of the shoulders. Three. So it can help stabilize. Four. Press out, squeeze those knees and quads. Five. Six. Seven. Core tight. Good, press out. 10, you have 10 more here. 10, nine, abs in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold the plank, hold it, and come on in. Drop down to your knees. You're going to add on the two red springs again. So three reds, lay back down on to your back. So your heart rate should be coming up now. Might be getting a little sweat on slowly. So back to the top of the round, flex those feet, toes up to the ceiling. Arms long by the side. Exhale, press out, squeeze those glute quads, pull in slow. So still parallel feet, like you're doing a squat, resisting down. Keep the toes flexed up the ceiling, keep that space between your lower back and the mat. Ten more here. Exhale as you press, lengthen, resist down. Nine. Exhale, eight. Last three. Press out two. And one, come all the way in, rolling up. We're back to the box. Again, if you don't have the box, one foot is on the floor, leaning forward, pumping those arms. Otherwise, right foot onto the box, lean that chest forward and pump. Lift up, two, abs tight, three, four, relax the shoulders. You're just tapping that left toe. 10 more, 10, nine, breathe, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. Take a little bit of your knee. Left foot on. Lean into that left leg and pump those arms. Lift that right leg up. Two. Just tap the right toe. Three. Five. Abs tight. Ten more here. Two, three, four, five, six. Stay low in this leg. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo, catch your breath. Come back to your machine. Take off the two red springs, one single red. Reach down, grab your reformer straps. Feet are straddling the shoulder rests. You have about a hand distance back. Palms up to the ceiling. Tuck the pelvis under, abs tight. Bicep curls, 20. In, we're going to step slow. Exhale, pull two. Scoop those abs in. Relaxing the neck and shoulders. So you're not moving those elbows up. You're just basically being bringing those hands in towards your shoulders, just hinging at the elbow joint. Exhale, pull. Slow resist out. Ten more. Exhale, pull nine. Scoop those abs in. Really squeeze those biceps. Last five. And four. For three. Pull in two. And one. Release. Drop those straps down into the well. Let's turn around, go into our plank, 
extend and extend. So hands on foot bar, toes tucked under. Press out to a plank position. Hold it for a second. Now shift your body weight back slightly so your shoulders are back past the wrist. Now just bending those knees in. So the upper body is staying still, just the lower body is moving. Use those abs to pull in. Squeeze the glutes and quads as you press out. Try to keep that head neutral. Ten more here. Nine. Press out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And hold the plank. Five seconds. Squeeze your butt. Four. Three. Two. And come on in. Drop down to your knees. You're going to add on a red, white, and blue spring. So you have a single red, single blue, and a white, or if you have a yellow as a spring, do that. If not, do two red springs. Also grab some water if you need it. This will be the perfect time because we're moving on to the next circuit of four exercises. All right, let's lay on down back on our back. We're gonna do a little single footwork. So like a single leg squat or step up, Right heel on, parallel, left leg and tabletop, press through the heel all the way out, pull it in slow. Good, resist it down, press evenly. Try not to let the hips rock side to side. Think about pressing through that heel and squeezing that right glute at the top. Resist it down slow. Ten more here. Press out, squeeze that glute and quad. Last five. Exhale for four, three, two, and one. Come all the way in, switch legs, left heel on the foot bar, make sure the heel's in line with your sit bone. Press all the way out, resist it is slow. You know, flexing that left foot, squeezing that left glute as you press out and at the top. You still want that little space between your lower back and the mat. Ten more here. Flex those toes up to the ceiling. Resist it down, last five here. Last one, all the way out, come all the way in. Roll on up, we're gonna come back to our box. So the modification is you're just gonna step up and down. If you can, we're gonna hop up and over. So, just hop and down. So whichever version feels good for you, just tap that toe or go slow. We're just trying to get the heart rate up a little bit, pressing through those legs. Keep going. Ten more. One, two. Floor, so 
you're in a plank position, but your feet are wide. Now I'm like a push-up position. You're gonna bring that right down to the former, right forearm down, left forearm down, right hand presses, left hand. So stay on the same arm. Right, left, right, left. Keep going, try to stabilize the core. Abs tight. Four more on this arm. Last one. Switch arms. Left forearm, right forearm, left hand, right hand. Left, right, left, right. Now keep going. Stabilize the core, abs tight. Three more here. Last one. And come on up. Take off the red spring. So you now have on a blue and a white spring. If you have a machine with a yellow, it could be a blue and a yellow. Or you could stick with a red, a single red, if this feels too light. We're going to do tricep kickbacks. So grabbing your straps. I'm going to start up onto my knees. Now I'm going to hinge my hips forward, sitting back onto my heels. You want those elbows glued by your side, head neutral, looking down towards the reformer. Make sure the weight is back and extend those arms all the way out. Bend it back in. Get that full extension of the triceps. Back flat, abs tight. Exhale, press extend. Try to hold that squeeze for a second. Those abs in. Full extension, five more. Last five. Bring it all the way up. Four. Head neutral. Three. Press out two and one. Drop those straps down into the well. Turn around. Let's add on that red spring back to our machine. Back to the second round of work. This is the last round here, and we'll finish with a few abs. Laying down on your back. Let's start with that left heel on, right leg in tabletop. Make sure the heel bone is in line with the sit bone. Roll the way out. Pull it in slow. So kind of use this as your breather since you're laying down, but it's not really a breather because you're using your legs. But just try to put your breath through here. Exhale as you press, pulling up through the glutes and quads. Slow as you pull in, flex those toes up to the ceiling. Five more on this leg. Last one. Put that right heel down, left leg in tabletop. Make sure the right sit, heel and sit bone are in the same line. Press all the way up. Pull it in slow. Make sure the hips are stabilized.
You're assisted down. Last 10 here. Squeeze that right glute, right quad. Think about doing a step up as you press through that right heel. Last three. Exhale, press. And two. Last one. Come all the way in. Roll on up, back to our box. Last time. One foot on again. If you want to step up and over, that's fine. Otherwise, hop up, tap that toe. Keep breathing. Keep going. We have 10 more here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come over to your corner. Hands on, plank position. Feet wider than your hips. Down, right hand down, form down. Left forearm, right hand, left hand. Keep going. Right, left, right, left. Stabilize through that core. Abs tight. Two more on this arm. Last one. And switch. Left hand. Right forearm, left hand, right hand. Left forearm, right forearm, left, right. Keep going. Abs try, try to stabilize the hips. Two more here. Last one. All right, take off the red spring, blue and a white, or your machine only has a right, uh, a red, and just do a single red. Grab, or if this feels too heavy, just go to a single blue. Last set here with the arms. Lean back into the hips, hinge at the hip joint, elbows bent, glued to your side. Just press those arms back, squeeze those triceps, Bend in slow, head neutral, abs pulled in, back flat. Exhale as you press. Make sure you get that full extension and squeeze at the back. We have 10 more here. Press back, resist. Nine. Press up. Eight. Seven. All the way back, six. Last three. For two. And one. Relax. Hang up your straps onto the hooks for a second. I'm going to put my headrest all the way down. And I'm going to put my foot bar all the way down. We're just going to finish with some abs with our feet in reverse crunches with the straps over your knees. I'm going to take off my white spring. So I'm just going to use a single blue spring. So I don't feel like I'm pulling too much from my hip flexors. If you want to go heavier, go for a blue and a white or a single red spring. Or if you don't want to use the straps at all, you can still do these exercises without the straps just to work your abs. So put one foot through the strap, all the way up and above your knee. Other foot in. 
I'm going to scoot my bottom towards the shoulder rest a little bit more. Good. You may have like a hand distance away from your bottom and the shoulder rest. Arms behind the head. I just want you to go bring your knees out a few inches and then crunch up a little bit deeper. So you're not fully extending because I don't want you to go into your back. So out a few and exhale, crunch in deeper. Scoop those abs in. Try to lift the chest up as much as you can. If you feel any back tension, then don't let the legs go out as far. Just stop at 90 and then pull it in deeper. Or take your knees out of the straps. Exhaling as you pull in. Let's do five more. Four. Scoop those abs three. Two. And one. Take a drop the feet. Take a little stretch back. You're going to come back up. One leg, other leg. You're going to reach the legs out, and as you crunch in, you're going to twist the upper body. Both legs reach slightly, and then rotate to the other side. So the legs are staying still. You're just rotating, or they're staying together, and you're just rotating the upper body as you crunch in. Use those obliques. Make sure you're pressing the lower back down into the reformer. Exhale as you pull. Four more. Last one. Bless the feet again. Take a little stretch back. Almost there. We're going to keep the left foot down, right leg in tabletop. You're going to crunch the chest up, pull that right knee in, and down. Just keep the head parallel or straight up. No twist yet. Focus on using that right oblique to drive that knee in. We're going to add a twist. Reach that left elbow to the right knee. Back to center. Exhale, scoop up and in. Drive that right knee into that left elbow. Squeeze that right oblique deeper. Last three. And two. And one. Drop that right foot down, left leg in tabletop. Bring that left knee in as you crunch up, just normal crunches for now. Exhaling as you scoop those abs in. Feel that left oblique as that right left knee drives in. Make sure you go slow there so there's not slack in the rope. Last one, and then we're going to add the twist. Right elbow to left knee, crunch in and up and over. Exhale, two. Squeeze that left oblique deeper. Deep exhale as you twist. Last two here. And last one. Drop those feet down slowly, carefully. Roll on up. Take your feet out of the straps. Hang up the straps. Bring your foot bar all the way up. Let's just put that in the blue spring on just to do a few leg circles to finish off opening up those hips. You bring the headrest all the way up if you want. Press the carriage up, out. I think I said uh, red and a blue spray. Or you could do two reds if you want heavier. 
So legs straight up to the ceiling. You're going to lower the legs down, circle out and around. Opening up the hips. Stabilize the pelvis. Just let this flow and feel good. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. Two more in this direction. Only go as low as you can without arching that back. And reverse directions. Open the legs out to the side. Squeeze those heels together. Back up to the ceiling. And only lift the legs as high as you can without lifting that tailbone up. Feel a stretch in the inner thighs as well as them working as you pull those legs together. Two more in this direction. And last one. Bring the legs straight up to the ceiling. Grab the ropes. Pull down into a stretch. Relaxing the back. The tailbone can lift up slightly if you want to get a deeper stretch. Pulling down on the ropes. Feel stretch in the hamstrings. And calves and lower back. And bring both legs up. And I'm going to straddle both legs up to the side. If you want to do one at a time, feel free to do that. Feeling a nice stretch through the inner thighs, a little bit in the hamstrings. Put the bottoms of your feet together, grab your feet and pull them in closer. Feel the hips open a little bit more. You can go a little rock side to side if that feels good. Slowly take one foot out, put on the foot bar, other foot, drop the straps down into the well. Roll on up, and we are all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this circuit Pilates workout. If you like these workouts, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.